Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I am going to present very interesting tutorial for uh, new learners on 3D cube animations. Let us see how our uh, animation look like. Cool, correct. Okay, now let us jump into our project. Thank you. Hi, uh, as usual, we start with the new composition. Please click here on the new composition button and uh, we name it as a main with uh, HD resolution that is 1920 by 1080 with uh, 30 frames per second and uh, duration is 10 seconds and background color is black press ok uh, before uh, I mean uh, starting our uh, tutorial I want to tell you one thing you might have seen already so many YouTube tutorials on this uh, 3D cube but I think you have visited this uh, my tutorial again means you didn't get the much details from that tutorial that's why I want to give some more details for my uh, learners in two steps one is the skeleton of the 3D cube that's what what you have seen in the introduction of this tutorial and in the second step you can replace that skeleton with the images or videos or uh, icons or any other thing recognizable media so you can then you can use this one with the more uh, um, graphics animations to your best i hope you will learn very good lesson from this tutorial okay let us start with our uh, tutorial now now you will create uh, let us create one more uh, uh, composition we will name it as a frame with width is uh, 400 and uh, uh, height is 400 and 30 from second and 10, se uh, 10 seconds duration is enough and now you create one more uh, mm, shape layer by selecting this rectangle and the fill is no we need only the a stroke so it's solid and we make it as a 25 pixel width press ok so just double click on this so that it will come to the complete uh, uh, composition so this we use this one because we want to give the frame a new look to the our photos or videos let us see how it will help you for us okay go to the main again and we create one more composition with the same 400 by 400 uh, 30 frames per second 10 uh, seconds duration i will name it as a front side that is front side of the our cube yes okay now let's go to the main drag this front into our uh, composition panel and uh, click on the front this one and now you create drag this frame into our front composition now you see we got one frame for the front side panel so now we just will write uh, here it is a front or we will do one more thing before writing it let us create one more uh, background is uh, solid is it background BG, you can write it and we will make it as color red that's ok as of now so let's keep this background and down of the frame so that we can see the frame sorry it came into the layer so we can see the frame here now just let us uh, name uh, write uh, some name on this that is just a front let us make it white so that I can see this let us drag it a 
Let's make this color as a white so that we can see it. And we'll reduce this width to adjust it to our uh, panel. I think that's okay. Now let us align this one. And still we can reduce the width of this text. I think that's enough. Yeah, and before that I want to tell this one thing. I have used one font that is called Sego UI. I think that's what you can spell it. I give the link for this uh, font in my description down here. Maybe you can download from there freely. So now, since it is not aligned properly, we'll go back to align panel and press vertical and horizontal alignment. But you see here, our um, anchor point is of this uh, text is somewhere else. So what we do is go to anchor point to this one, click on this, and take this anchor point to the middle of uh, this our font. Okay, so now it is at the uh, middle of our font. Let's go. Now we got main. Uh, okay, main uh, panel that's called a front position. Similarly, we can do all other uh, six, five sets of the cube. What we have to do is go here, front, and let us look at five times two, three, four, five. That's it. And let us name this one as a different names here. One is front, other one is back, this one is top. Each represents represent the side of the cube. This one is the down. This one is the left. One more time we will uh, do it by pressing Ctrl D. This one is uh, right. I hope we have all four six sides. So good. Once it's done, go here and uh, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate. Now we go here. So we have front already, so now we need back. Here, select this one by selecting this one, drag this one and replace. Uh, this uh, composition by pressing Alt so that it can uh, contain the all uh, parameters previously what we have done for the front side. Just drag it. So now it is got replaced. Now click on this. Now go to and now let us just to change the name to back. Back. So let us make it uh, align. Uh, just don't worry about the uh, anchor point now because we don't use that one. And let us make change color, change the color of the background also. Yes, right click here or go to the layer, uh, go to solid setting and change the color of whatever you wish. So let us select this color or this color. Okay, let's look at it. So now, sorry, now we got a back uh, panel of the cube. So now we got a back and a front. Maybe if you want to see this, just drag this one somewhat other side. So we can see back and front also. Like this, we will create uh, five more, uh, uh, four more sites. Uh, maybe I can, I will speed up this tutorial uh, to save your time.
Okay, I am back again. Oh, good, uh, now we got all uh, six sides of the cube. So now what we have to do is we have to align these things into a 3D cube. Before this, let us make uh, all these uh, uh, compositions as a 3D. So what we have to do is we have one 3D uh, icon here. We have to make this one as 3D by pressing this one, but we do not see this uh, switch for this one. So what we have to do is we can either press F4 to get the switches or you can go to columns to get the uh, switches or yeah we'll do one thing we'll uh, press f4 here so we got the switch here for making 3d this make it 3d that's it so now we got all uh, uh, sides as a 3d what we have to do is now let us align side by side into 3d cube let us see how to do so before that let us create one camera so that we can see our alignment in the 3d all 360 degrees so go to go here as a camera option press camera um, let us be camera one and i have taken the preset as that frame i think that is enough for me and just with the two uh, two node camera that's okay just press it okay so now we have camera we have all the sides also now let us go with the side by side so what we have to do is we'll start with the front side then back then top down left and right like that so but i don't want to see all these uh, sides at one time i want to make it solo two sides first front and back let's see how to do it let us make it solo this one and this one so i can see only two things now and now i want to see this one uh, in a 3d so that i can align these things so what i have to do is go here there is a camera I can press here, you can see this uh, unified camera tool or so many other tools or you can press a shortcut as a C. So what we will do is select uh, camera, come here, then turn this one. So you can see it in the 3D. Okay. And let's say if you click on this, I can, we can see X, Y, Z options. You can make it, um, we can pull or push sideways, front, uh, front facing by dragging this uh, axis. So let us go with the, just we will oh, pull this one to some more front side. So press um, this arrow here. Let us make this Z axis some more front. Okay. Now that is done. Now I have to make this one uh, back. I want to keep this one the back side of over to this one. Just drag this one to the back. I don't know what is the length of between this one now, but don't worry as if now. But if you see here, um, let me see. This one is in the reverse. Here you can see uh, back is correct the statement, but if you see the back side of this one, this is in a uh, reverse order. So let us make it rotate this one properly. So what we have to do is press all here and uh, make uh, I think y axis yes 90 degrees so that I can see this one properly or 180 degrees. I think that's correct. So we got it. So now if you see here, we have front side and back side, correct? Let us keep it these two things here. Now what we have to do is we'll go with the top. Just press uh, solo with the top or don't. Let us make it top. So we have top here. Press V or uh, click on this one and drag this one near to this one. We have to go to the top actually. Let's make it top. So since it is uh, on vertical, I want to make it horizontal by making, uh, rotating that one into 90 degrees. I, I think X axis, I think, yeah, X axis, 90 degrees. This is minus 90. Okay. So now I have to arrange this one uh, on top side of this one. So press V, already V, taking Z axis down. They are moving like this, but I do not see properly. So press uh, uh, C key to get the camera. Now I can see it here. So still it is not proper. So what I can do is I can take this one to near to this one.
Are we correct or not correct? But let us see. Alignment. Let's see again. C is not correct. Correct? So what we have to do is press V here. Let us try this is trial and error so that uh, we can align these things properly. Almost we are coming. Let us see. It's just a trial and error. Maybe it is this tutorial is somewhat lengthier to give you proper details for you for your uh, graphic creation. I think nowadays these two sides are aligned. But if you see here, our back side is not aligned. So let us press back and uh, press V here and create a diaphragm and uh, see to see properly. move y axis up it may take some time but uh, it gives a clear idea for you how to arrange the sides different sides using the camera and um, using the uh, these arrows and aligning the Z, X and Y, Z uh, axis. Initially it is a bit tough, but uh, on practice it will be easy for you. Maybe um, I may not align this one properly now uh, to avoid uh, taking time. Let us see, almost done here for the third side also. I think it is none. Right. Okay, here this is somewhat. Let us drag this side. This is playing something with this. See, using the camera tool, how nicely we can raise the. YouTube. Very cool, correct? Maybe I will uh, fast forward this one um, to save your time. Maybe you can practice this one properly with using the uh, camera tool and uh, align the axis. Okay, let us let me fast forward this tutorial now. Sorry, Vaga is uh, taking for a uh, long time, but I think that gives a uh, good idea for you. Mm. Let us see how now it looks like. Almost is done, uh, but I don't want to take up more time on this because it will uh, take you most of your time. Let us uh, finish this one here. Just with small change here. That's it. Yeah, almost done. Yeah. See, all uh, names also came properly. It is not reverse. So everything is proper. Almost we are done. Let us make it front. 
as a 90 degrees. Okay, it is done here. Let us do with other things now. What we have to know is we have to make the graphics with uh, 3D cube uh, just rotating, right? So what we have to do is just select all these uh, layers and uh, press Ctrl Shift C to create a new composition. We'll name it as a 3D cube animation. Um, let us move on a little bit here. Press uh, this one and press OK. Good. We have now 3D cube. Let's make it uh, uh, 3D. But if you see here, even though it is uh, 3D, but we are not having any uh, 3D effects properly. Correct? You can see only the front side, but what about other sides? And all? So don't worry, just uh, make it uh, this one. We have one uh, uh, collapse transformation tool here. Just press that one here. That's it. We can see now all uh, sides of this one. See, now we have all sides, correct? Whatever size we have created previously, now we got it. So what we have to do is, let us make it zero everything. So okay, and uh, this also zero. Let us make it uh, vertical to original position. Almost we are done now. Just we have to make it uh, animation. That's it, correct? So what we have to do is, let us let us open the rotation here. And uh, for this, just press R. We'll see the rotation X Y Z and uh, create a keyframes for X Y Z rotation. Then go here to the end of uh, 10 seconds or nine uh, nine seconds and make it. One is uh, one time of 360 degrees, other one is two times of 360 degrees, other one is three, uh, three times of 360 degrees. That's it. It will rotate automatically. See? Smooth. Correct. And let us make it two mm, quarters so that we can see properly these animations. Good. Very nice. Nice, guys. We got, we got it. Now this is the uh, step one. Means we have created a skeleton now, correct? This is called skeleton. Now you can replace this any side, left, top, bottom, all six sides, or any side of this one with the images or videos or icons or uh, um, your logos. Anything with this, yeah. Uh, with this cube. That is the second step. Let us see that one now. Oh, before that one, uh, what I do is select all these keyframes we have created. Press F9 to uh, make it easy ease. So that uh, this runs smoothly. You see here, uh, this one is very smooth. Um, this one, otherwise it will be linear. Okay. It's, it uh, wheels smoothly now. Okay. Once it is done, let's go back to our starting position. So now this is step one. This we have created skeleton for all six sides. But now how to do, how to replace this thing, uh, this uh, color or uh, font with the images. Okay. Let us do that one. See, already I have something like one folder called images. Other one is called uh, videos. Uh, I have downloaded these uh, images and videos from uh, one fantastic website called uh, pixabay.com. I gave the link of this website in our my description of the tutorial. You can download that. That's a fantastic website. You can get very high resolution photos and the videos from there. Yeah. So now let us see how to replace uh, these cubes uh, sites with the images or videos. So let's go again. Click on 3D this one so that we can see all the four six. Say I don't replace all the sites for to save the time, but I replace one or two sites. Okay, let's start with the front. So we have here what oh, font is there, BG color is there, but we do not want that one. So what I do is uh, I take uh, one side or anything good thing. Okay, I'll take this image and put them at the down of this one because I need the frame. 
So what I have to do is just uh, uh, hide this one color I do not want and uh, this also I do not want. But if you see here my um, image is bigger than my composition. So what I have to do is I have to replay, I mean I have to align this image. Let's align this one by dragging, keeping, pressing, shift. Good. So I got, um, if you see here, uh, I got this image here. Let us make it uh, full resolution so that you can see the image properly. Now you just go to the main now. Likewise, um, what I do is I will uh, replace uh, one more um, uh, side with the or top side with video. Let us go to the video. Okay, that's enough for our tutorial. See now, if you see here, these are uh, replaced by our skeleton is replaced by images. Let us make it uh, full resolution so that you can see these sides. This is the way uh, you can uh, create a cube and then you can replace that with uh, images, videos, whatever you want, or icons or logos. It, it gives very fantastic uh, uh, look when you replace this one. When you create this cube with uh, interesting, uh, interesting uh, images. Okay, I can. I want to tell one more thing. Sometimes you want to uh, put the images here, and you want to write. Uh, um, uh, your uh, photo name or something uh, the dawn of image how to do it because here I have only the frame I cannot write anything here so I want to give some white space here so that you can write some name there okay so let us do that thing for that I have to do go to the frame uh, uh, composition where is that yeah here yeah. so yeah, I have here only the uh, this one but now I had to create one more solid a white solid at the bottom. So what I do is go here. Now I need fill to be done with the solid. Okay, but I don't want uh, scale stroke. This already we have. So what I have to do is go here, make it small, okay. make it down. That's it. If you come here, you can write anything and go to the uh, each side and you can write some font. Let us say I want, let us move this one down and make it color. Let us uh, do some black color for this or some, some color for this and I drag this one down. Okay. That's it. If you come here and see, see this one is uh, uh, we got some space for names also. Like that, you can create whatever you want, some graphics, animation with your interest. Good, correct? See, now it is very cool. All sites we have this um, mm, down space so that you can write something on this if you want. But now I will remove that one because it doesn't look good. Like this, you can create a skeleton and uh, later you can uh, um, replace that one with images and all this. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So once you are done this one, please uh, press uh, um, enter for the rendering. Uh, then if you like this tutorial, uh, as usual, I request to like this tutorial, and share this tutorial and give your comments also. And also, please do subscribe for my YouTube channel. For you can um, expect very good tutorials, quality tutorials in the future too. And there are so many other videos also in my YouTube channel. You are welcome to visit that one. Thank you guys. See you in my next tutorial. Bye bye. Till then. Thank you.